Today I'm going to talk about how to prepare a jug for playing. Uh, by prepare, I mean finding one and then uh, cleaning it. Cleaning it will involve getting out all the stuff that might have gone into a ceramic jug in the past uh, and sterilizing it to get out any remaining funk. Uh, you can put that funk back in later when you play. Uh, first, finding one. This is a two gallon stoneware uh, ceramic jug of the sort you might find in an antique store, uh, basement, an estate sale, things like that. Uh, they're not that hard to find, uh, but they are a little bit hard to find cheaply unless you're lucky. Uh, the good news is it's not the only thing you can play. Really anything of about this size and shape uh, will work. Uh, a glass apple cider jug, although those are harder to find these days as well. A wine jug, uh, old bleach bottles, laundry detergent bottles, uh, even things like a milk jug would work, uh, although the sides are, the plastic is probably too soft to really give you good tone. Uh, you want something with about this much volume, two gallons uh, is about the right amount of resonance, and you want resilient, tough uh, sides to, to hold their shape. Um, well, now let's talk about cleaning. So cleaning a jug isn't rocket science, but it is material science, and putting these instructions together, I've consulted the online advice of people who deal in antique uh, ceramics, uh, but perhaps more importantly, home brewers and distillers. If your jug is particularly valuable and irreplaceable, you may want to go beyond what I'm saying here to make sure I'm not giving you bad advice that might lead to a cracked uh, or otherwise wrecked jug. I've got some very basic materials here. I'm going to use vinegar uh, and bleach. And uh, if you've got a glass jug, apple cider jug from the supermarket, even easier, just warm soapy water like you'd clean any dish. With ceramics, we have to worry a little bit more that the glaze inside may have not held up, may be porous, uh, and any water of the kind that you might be spitting in would uh, harm the jug and lead to funk, which will come right back at you when you play it. I'm going to start just by rinsing it out. And incidentally, one way that you can check for porousness is simply to fill it up to the lip with water let it sit for a couple days, and if the water level goes down, then you know you have porousness. Then I'll pour some vinegar in. Uh, you know, switch it around, maybe let it sit for a while. You might know better than I do. Uh, and then when I'm happy with the amount it's sat, pour it out, maybe do it again, fill it up with water. In other words, just give it a number of good rinsings to get out any of the, the big stuff. And when I'm satisfied I've got everything out, then I'm going to sterilize it. Uh, I'm going to start by filling it about halfway with water. Uh, then I'm going to add two tablespoons of bleach for each gallon of water. So for a two gallon jug, that'll be uh, four tablespoons of bleach. Fill it the rest of the way with water. Then I'm going to let it sit for 20 minutes while the bleach does its magic. Pour out the bleach. And now to get rid of any remaining water and bleach and to sterilize the jug, I'm going to bake it for two hours at 320 degrees. Uh, I don't want to preheat the oven because to avoid any cracking, I want the jug to warm up slowly and then again I'm going to let it cool down slowly. Put in the jug. Now we'll let it bake for two hours. Two hours are up and the jug is done, so I'll turn off the heat, but again I'm going to leave the jug in to cool along with the oven to avoid any sudden temperature changes that might lead to cracking. And when the oven is cool, then it's time to take the jug out, and when it's cool to the touch, like it is right now, then it's ready to play. Now it's your turn. 